what is up everyone I'm back with another video and hopefully I'm going to be able to do these once a week and this one's on the PlayStation 5 showcase that has just happened I know it's been a day or two since but I've had work and other things I've had to do um, and at the end I just want to go through a couple of PS5 games that I'm looking forward to for when I get a PS5 but to start off is the showcase and I'm gonna go through I hope everything's in order of how they revealed it and they kicked it off with the Final Fantasy 16 trailer I'm not the biggest Final Fantasy fan but even I can say that looked good and it will be a PlayStation console exclusive which I'm pretty sure that means it's not coming to Xbox or Nintendo but it will come to PC I don't know if that's on the Microsoft side of things as well or they're not giving it Microsoft at all but uh, if you're a Final Fantasy fan look forward to that it never gave a release date so I'm, I'm gonna guess it'll be either 2020 late 2021 or 2022 when that comes out after that they showed some spider-man miles morales gameplay now as far as i'm aware this is the first bit of gameplay they've shown for the title and if you enjoyed spider-man on ps4 you'll probably enjoy this i've not had time to play chance to, I've not had a chance to play Spider-Man yet but everyone said good things about it so this one sh should go the same way from what it showed then they showed that uh, Hogwarts Legacy trailer I think that's the Hogwarts game that was leaked I think it was a couple of years ago now uh, they're finally showing it off <laughs> well I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan so I probably won't pick this one up it didn't show anything that would get me interested in the title but if you are a Hogwarts fan it will be coming out in 2021 never gave an exact date after that they showed well, Call of Duty because in every Sony event they've got to show a bit of Call of Duty for some reason they showed some gameplay it's the same thing as it always is you shoot a bunch of guys they die you win easy didn't show anything different from what I've not seen from any other Call of Duty but that's that'll be out on PS5 at release. Then they showed a trailer for Resident Evil 8. Can't say much about that because I'm not really a Resident Evil fan either. But that's coming in 2021. Now, I just want to know: Is anyone interested in Deathloop? Because I think for the last three Sony presentations they've shown it off and each time I get less and less interested I'm not sure why but it just all the abilities and everything kind of remind me of Dishonored and I preferred the look of Dishonored as well so this really didn't catch my eye and um, but all they said for that one was it's coming in quarter two of 2021 because it did get delayed if I remember correctly and now it's coming out next year now Devil May Cry special edition got a trailer and it will be available at launch but only in digital version 
Now, I don't know what Capcom's doing if you have the original Devil May Cry 5, but the special editions coming out on PS5 at launch, I'm pretty sure they said, but it's only digital. Then they showed another trailer for Odd World, Soulstorm. I was a fan of Odd World back in the day. Now, well, I've kind of grown out of it, but it did catch my eye with some of the weird stuff that could happen. As far as I know, it'll probably come out when I don't have it, so I'll be waiting waiting for it for a while but it didn't actually have a release date after Odd World they showed a Five Nights at Freddy game security breach trailer um, anyone still interested in Five Nights at Freddy there's another game for you I'm over it got nothing else to say they showed a Demon Souls trailer, which I'm not big on the Souls titles, like Bloodborne and Dark Souls and all them. But it did look good. I'll give them that much. The if I if I'm remembering, they did show some gameplay a little bit, and the big creature, big boss that he fought looked amazing. But I won't be getting it. It didn't have a release date, so I'm guessing it's not coming out at release. Might be like in the first six months, but I guess we'll have to see on that one. Then they had to show Fortnite as well, just to say that it'll be on PS5 at launch. Then they showed something called the PlayStation Plus Collection. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is an added bonus on PS5, but you've got to be a PS Plus member, and um, it's a bunch of PlayStation 4 games that you can get digitally, and I'm guessing they're going to change every month or every so often throw in other games, take out other games, kind of like they do with PlayStation now, if they get the publisher's permission. I'm guessing all Sony titles will be on there all the time, but if it's coming from a different publisher, it's probably going to come off at some point. I'm really not sure how they're going to work around it, but I guess we'll... I'll figure that out in the end when we learn more. And then they showed what we all wanted to know, which was the price and the date of release. Now, the prices are okay for me. I mean, I, I don't mind the prices. It's basically $500 in euros for £50 and near enough 50,000 yen for the disk drive version and for the digital only it's 400 dollars in euros 360 pounds and 40,000 yen now for me living in England I'd say that's okay round about where I would expect I'm being honest but it's the release dates that I don't get in the USA Japan Canada Mexico Australia New Zealand and South Korea it'll be coming out on November 12th and everywhere else in the world has to wait a week till November 19th I don't know why I don't know how this is an actual thing that they are doing instead of releasing them all on the same day 
but yeah we have a release date and it's fucked up if you ask me because all the people that live in those countries that are named will have stuff up on the internet and they'll be ruining games and all that shit for the people that are waiting till the week after I mean, unless Sony puts somebody in place where they can't upload anything until the 20th, let's say. Give the people at least a day to play the game. But they won't. So, that that's bullshit. I'm calling bullshit. I know I'm not getting it on release, but it's still not right. And right at the end, everyone thought they were going to show another kill zone or... SOCOM was coming back but it turns out that they're not they've still not got a good uh, multiplayer game Sony which I'm okay with because I'm not big on multiplayer because I am terrible at it and I don't plan on getting any better but they showed a teaser trailer for uh, the next God of War and it is coming next year now I don't know about you but I played the first one and I enjoyed what I played even though I didn't get to finish it and um, this might be the game that gets me to pick up a PS5 bit earlier than I was expecting depending on when it comes out and then they ended with one of those sizzle reels of everything they showed and life's a good one this showcase really showed a lot of games and next to none of them I was interested in apart from uh, God of War teaser trailer at the end but I'm, I'm still happy I watched it the games near enough we knew about every single one of them apart from God of War, Final Fantasy and Hogwarts the, uh, for me it's average could have been better. I was waiting for a big like trailer on something, but I suppose most of what's coming out has already been shown off. Now as for the PS5 games that have been announced so far, there are about I think ten that I can see that I'm interested in getting probably after a year there'll be more but right now the 10 games that I am looking forward to is Ratchet and Clank Rifts Apart we saw some gameplay, we saw some trailers I can't wait to play it but I don't think that has a release date either um, there's Destruction All Stars which is a racing I can't it's like an arena where you can be in cars and you can be out of cars and you I don't even know what the goal is but the trailer got me super excited for it and I can't remember if that's coming out on the lease or not but it got me interested and then there's a game that a lot of people are not interested in I I just like uh, me hack and slash games and it is Godfall. Hopefully it is what I'm thinking it is, which is Borderlands with swords. If not, I'd still play it. Then there's that kind of Bridge of Spirits which had to be pushed back to next year. The look of that game and 
the way it all moves, it just looks fantastic. Uh, I really can't wait to play that one. Then there's a game from the people that brought us Octodad, I think it was. And it's that Bugs, Bugs Snacks. I really don't know much about this game, but from what I saw, it can create some weird people. Then there's the big one that I'm waiting for before I get my PS5, and that's Horizon Forbidden West, which is meant to be coming out at the end of next year, but we will see. Blood Bowl 3, I played a lot of Blood Bowl 2 when that came out. I love the Blood Bowl games now, and I can't wait for the third one. Hopefully they don't take too many things out, or add a lot of, uh, well, take a lot of things out that made the second one so great, but only time will tell. Then there's free Ubisoft games, and that's Watch Dogs Legion. I have played the first one, I have the second one, but I've not had time to play it yet, and this one just looks for me extremely good because I'm everyone keeps going on about getting a bunch of grannies and doing what they can with them I'm probably not going to go that way because that's just silly I'll probably go the way of uh, shoot first ask questions later or just try and do the stealthy way and if that fails do what everyone else does and goes come blazing then there's one that Immortals Phoenix Rising now people keep um, comparing that to Breath of the Wild and seeing as I'm never going to get Breath of the Wild because it's always going to be at 60 pounds this is the next best option for me so I'm actually I'm happy it's coming out um, they did change the rain name from Gods of Monsters to Immortal Phoenix Rising which I'm going to go with everyone else and say Gods of Monsters was a better game better name but now we have this and I'm looking forward to it and then there's Far Cry 6 I played all the Far Cry apart from Far Cry 1 uh, Far Cry 2 I weren't a big fan of and then Far Cry 3 came out played it, loved it Far Cry 4 played it, didn't complete it Far Cry 5 <laughs> Played it, didn't complete it. So, but I did enjoy them all. I got the collector's edition of Far Cry 5, and I'm happy that I did. I played a lot of it, I just. There were quite a few games, if I remember, that were coming out, and I wanted to play. So, I just not finished it yet. Probably will before I get Far Cry 6. But. They are all the games that I am looking forward to on the PS5. Um, let me know down in the comments which ones you were looking forward to. And also let me know what you thought of the showcase. I know people are going to say it's better than what I'm putting it at because they're looking forward to a lot of them games. Me, just don't spike my interest. But for now, I will, I'm signing out and I'll see you in the next video.